for the Make Code Minute today, what I want to talk about is how you can graph the analog input read on Circuit Playground Express from an external controller onto the NeoPixel ring that's built right onto the Circuit Playground Express. And this is so dead simple. It, it requires so few blocks that I'll build it right here from scratch. So first of all, hardware-wise, you can see I've got my Circuit Playground Express, and then I'm using alligator clips to connect to a potentiometer. Now, you can connect just to the legs on a regular potentiometer, like the ones we sell in the Adafruit store. My daughter actually suggested I do something with little bits today. Uh, I asked her what I should work on for the Make Code Minute. She said, use some little bits. So uh, I've grafted in alligator clips onto a little bits potentiometer, but it is just a, a basically a vanilla potentiometer. So here's how I'm going to set up reading that potentiometer inside of Make Code. I've got a forever block, and then I'm going to grab from the light category this graph block. So I'm going to bring that in and drop it into the forever, forever loop. And what this will do, uh, if you hover over it, it'll actually give you a tooltip that says display a vertical bar graph based on the value and high value. So what I'm going to enter as the value I'm reading is from this pins category, this analog read pin A1. That's the one I have it plugged into. And now if I upload that to the board, I've already uploaded it, you can see that as my analog values go up and down, the NeoPixel ring will graph that just like a little... Uh, VU meter kind of thing. So that is how simple it is to read an analog sensor and graph the values onto the Circuit Playground Express NeoPixels right inside of Make Code.